Man, I gotta find this hard brush. Thought it'd be under here, but dang, man. Man, what the? I told him about playing that music while I'm looking for this brush. Man, what are you doing, bro? I am looking for the brush. How is that gonna help us find this brush? I didn't told you about playing this music while I'm trying to look for this brush. Why do you pass cease to disturb their silk guard? Eh? Ah! Be quiet and let me do what I am doing. Alright, let's see what you're gonna do, bruh. Hey, bro, you alright? Ah, I told you what I was doing. Now look, the brush has come. J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. My panther was off the chain and sicker than the flu, but I'm here to bring you a royalty brush review. What it do? Appreciate all the prayers, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep that energy up because your boy is feeling real, real good. And I have a very great reason too. I know a lot of people may be shocked that haven't watched my last video, you know what I'm saying? They, pro they probably be like, man, where the waves at? You gotta go back and watch my most recent video. I'll make sure I link it right above here. But in this video today, what I'm gonna be talking about is this bad boy right here. Now off top, this is the Royalty 801. Now, some of you guys may have have noticed that this there's a difference in the numbering but at the same time the first thing I want to point out is the fact that this is the first eight row royalty brush ever made and it's gonna be released you guys you know what I'm saying so as you can see I'm excited but I'm pretty sure you guys are excited to watch this video so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump straight into the review all right now when it comes to the royalty 801 this is an eight row soft brush now i know a lot of people are probably going crazy over there because there's never ever been a black on black soft brush you know like <laughs> It don't get no better than that. If you're not hype off of that fact alone, you know what I'm saying? This right here, off the top, this probably is my favorite royalty out of the drops. Not just because of the fact that it's black. Now, black is one of my favorite colors. As y'all can see, your boy got the sweatshirt on, you know? Just in time, merch is going to be coming pretty soon. But I just really like the how this brush looks. If you take a look at it, this is another deviation from the paint job, like I mentioned before. This is a solid black color, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just that glossy paint job just looks phenomenal to me every single time and when it comes to the royalty brushes as you guys already know every single royalty has this logo uh, that is painted differently and this one has an accent of gold so just looking at this brush I just love how this brush looks because it looks like royalty you know what I'm saying that's why I had to go with the Black Panther theme because for me Killmonger wasn't my favorite character but I definitely respected the message that he had you know what I'm saying so but the main difference between this brush and Killmonger is that this brush is soft and Killmonger wasn't, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like I mentioned in my fatality drop video, the number of rows play a factor because it just determines how the brush glides across your head. Now with seven rows, most coarse hat wavers typically prefer brushes like this because if you have a very thick hair follicle and everything like that, you want a brush to be able to penetrate deep down into your scalp and to be able to move and, and have that pull that it needs. Because this one is eight rows, of course it's still gonna be able to penetrate down to your scalp, even if it is a softie, because like I always say, 
every single brush that BK makes comes with pull. Now, the biggest difference between this one is the fact that these bristles are very long and they're very nice. So with that being said, when it comes to comparisons, I know a lot of people may be wondering, all right, J.Lu, how does this brush feel compared to other brushes? Now, I recently dropped this review right here. If you want to get the full in-depth review, I'll make sure I leave the link right above here, but this is the White Gold OVO Soft Brush. Now, when it comes to comparing the feel of both of these, because this one has blonde bristles, this one feels a little bit softer, but at the end of the day, they both have a very similar feel. And this one is a nine row softy versus an eight row softy. It really just depends on what you want to go with preference wise, but both of these brushes feel amazing. These two brushes are my top two brushes when it comes to soft brushes using long handles, you know what I'm saying? So enough of the looks and everything like that. All of the new royalty brushes have that really good weight to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like when it when it comes to waivers, waivers prefer certain weights with, with brushes. Previous royalties were very, very light compared to these. And I know BK came out with some heavy wood additions with the previous ones, but I just really like how all of these feel this go round. You know what I'm saying? So this one feels really good in your hands. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. But at the same time, it just feels like a workhorse when it comes to uh, finishing your sessions off with this brush. Now, if you don't know, the main purpose of a soft brush, especially a brush like this, is to be able to polish and glaze your hair with all of the natural oils that was distributed from using a medium brush. Now, what that simply means, if I was to state that another way, a hard brush will help help your scalp produce the oil. A medium brush will spread it all the way out. But a soft brush coats almost every single strand, and that's what gives your hair the crazy shine that it needs. But that's mainly what a soft brush is going to do. Now, when it comes to these bristles, these bristles are black. But if you take a very close look at them, you can see that some of them are kind of brown and everything like that. So in my personal opinion, that doesn't mean that this one is a premium. To me, this is a true softy. You know what I'm saying? It's not a firm softy and it's not a polisher. It's just a softy. Now, with that being said, as y'all can see, your boy scalped his waves and everything like that. But let me just explain to you guys how I would brush my new pattern coming in with this bad boy right here. So let's get into it. All right, now I gotta say this again. I just love how this brush looks. It just simply looks amazing. I'ma definitely try to cop at least two more so I can have three total just for me, man. Because at the end of the day, like when I first got all of the royalty brushes, this one stood out the most in regards to how it feels, how it looks and everything like that. But that's enough of that. Let me just show y'all what I'm talking about in regards to my pattern. So let's go. All right, so when it comes to my pattern, a lot of people tend to ask, Hey, yo, Jane Lou, how can I better my crown? How can I find my crown? Blah, 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 blah. Like I told y'all before, I personally prefer scalping because scalping allows you to be able to see all the way down to your crown area as well as how your hat grows. Now, if you want a video to go in more detail about that, I'll make sure I link my video right above here in regards to what you should know about scalping and the things that you should look for when you do scale. Now, me this go around because I already knew where my crown was. As you can see from my, my existing pattern, my waves are no longer in there because I cut below my curl length. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to my crown, it's right here. It's dead on the spot. As y'all can see, man, your boy hasn't been wearing a do-rag. I definitely have been enjoying the no do-rag life, no headache life. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get back into rocking everything once my hat grows back in. Now, when it comes to using this brush, you will definitely see that this brush still has pull because even though my hair is kind of all over the place, when I start brushing my pattern, what I'm gonna be going for are 360s with a swirl. You know what I'm saying? I wanna have a, a, a straight top. And what that basically means is my waves will go across like this. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanna be able to have it like that. I don't wanna have a slanted top, which basically means 720s, my, my waves went straight like this. They came straight out of my crown. 540s would mean that my waves would kind of slant at a 45 degree angle. But with 360s, my waves are gonna go across, kind of like perpendicular across my head like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be brushing my hair just like this. And as you can see, it's lining up my hair. That just goes to show you the pull that this brush already has. Now, when it comes to this side, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pulling from my crown area and then just brushing that, that normal 360 weight for the right side. So I'm gonna be hitting this angle right here carrying it on down. I don't want to have a drastic right side. So in order for me to be able to maintain this swirl, I'm going to hit this angle and go straight down like this right here. And then when it comes to the back left flow, so I'm going to start right here and brush my crown, but then I'm going to brush this kind of down right here like that. And then when I get to the left side, Instead of starting from the crown and brushing all the way out to my left side, I'm gonna just simply start right here and just brush my left side for 360s.
all right now when it comes to this portion of my crown as well as this portion of my hair right here what i'm gonna do is basically create this little swirl effect by pulling this straight to the top like that because i want my waves to go straight you know but at the same time i want the 360s to be able to go spaced out the reason why i believe this is going to work is because my crown position is not directly in the center of my head it's kind of slightly off to the right you know so i'll be able to have just like my 720s i used to have to drag out this angle to in order to get the waist to line up i think this pattern will be able to allow me to get better connections into my crown area so that's the way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be brushing my hair. But all right, that's enough. That's all y'all get for right now when it comes to the pattern. Just give your boy at least eight weeks. You know what I'm saying? Just like my starter from the scalp video, I basically was able to get uh, ripples within eight weeks. You know what I'm saying? So just give your boy eight weeks and I'll be able to really see what I'm working with. But moving forward, I know a lot of people will be able to get help because most people want 360s or they want 360s with a swirl. You know, so whether if you have a beehive or if you have a 360s with a swirl, whatever the case is, these upcoming videos will definitely be able to help take your waves to the next level now going back to the brush review when it comes to this royalty i honestly feel like this royalty might be the first royalty that may sell out i don't want to hype you guys but i'm just telling you a lot of people was waiting for a softy and i know a lot of people was waiting on the hard brush if you were waiting for a softy do not miss your chance in copping this bad boy right here because i'm telling you this brush feels amazing and, and the fact that it's eight rows i honestly be, believe that that helps lay your hair down a little bit better a seven row softy with the royalties would be nice but for, in my personal opinion the eight rows are just right in the in the, in the good spot you know what i'm saying the, the sweet spot as we call it you know so with that being said it's your boy j lou i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you have any questions make sure you leave them down below in the comment section <laughs> I just realized I had a piece of bristle on my forehead, man. Y'all ain't gonna tell your boy. Y'all, I see how it is. You know what I'm saying? I see how it is. But all right, so just moving forward, I appreciate all the prayers and everything like that that everybody been lifting me up. I'm gonna keep you guys lifted up as well. And I hope you guys have a great week. Like I said, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment sections below. Just stay tuned because I'm gonna try, I'm definitely working to try to get the merch out to you guys and everything like that. I gotta shoot a video because I wanna be able to walk you guys through the process because the website is gonna be very customizable to be able to give you what you look for but that's all i have to say if you haven't seen black panther then what are you waiting on if you have tell me what you thought about the movie and everything like that what was your favorite scene if you didn't like the movie save those comments to yourself with that being said hope you enjoy your weekend it's your boy j lou salute come brush with me hey do what i do lou is the name i'm so off the chain torino is the brush do wet wood grain Brush away wave I have some. Brush a wave I have some. Brush a wave I have some. Brush a wave I have some.